It's a problem that impacts some three million Americans, stuttering. It was long thought to be a nervous condition, but that may not be the case. New research shows the brain may also be a factor in diagnosis and treatment. An acceptable life would be how long you got to live it. If it's painful to watch, imagine how it feels. McGill University had been known to survive for 50 days. Stuttering has been a part of John Oman's life since childhood. Reading in class or simply ordering lunch was agonizing. So I would order a cheeseburger rather than a hamburger just because it was easier to say. Dr. Gerald McGuire can relate. From age five through medical school, stuttering made it tough to say his own name. When I would get a, a call or a page to one inpatient ser service or one nursing unit, uh, rather than return the call and say, this is Dr. McGuire, I would run there. That's all changed now that both men are on a new medication. This is a part of the brain that times initiates our speech. Dr. McGuire believes stuttering is partly caused by a defect in the part of the brain that controls the timing of speech. Brain scans of those who stutter show too much dopamine in that area. In studies, the drug Pagaclone appears to boost a chemical that blocks dopamine and improves the brain's timer. Not only does it tend to improve the fluency of speech, it also improves the social anxiety of speech. Green, can you name all the objects here? What green things do you have? The change in John is hard to miss. Like I said, it's almost 100% turnaround. Stuttering kept John from pursuing his dream of becoming a police officer. From the sound of things, he'll have plenty of other options. I think it's going to be an answer to a lot of prayers. Now, Pagaclone improved speech in 55% of the 130 patients who tested the drug with no major side effects. If it is approved by the FDA, Pagaclone would be the first medical treatment for stuttering. Phase three studies begin later this year. For more information, log on to the health section of WFTV.com.